Hi guys, welcome to my review of the Suzuki GSX-R and the GSX-S 125s. Obviously, I'm new to bikes, so I don't know what I'm looking for to review a bike. I'm just going to give you my personal preference on both bikes. I did my CBT on a more of an upright bike, so my preference is a, a sports bike. So at first I had to get used to the sports seating position. I didn't find it particularly too difficult. I found it got better and more comfortable the more confident I got with the bike. But as soon as I got the um, clutch control sorted, the power delivery, I found quite easy. So we actually dynoed the bike and uh, we found out it made 11 horsepower. So unsurprisingly, it was quite easy for me to get used to the power. I had the GSX-R for about two months and by the end of it, I really enjoyed it. The brakes worked well, it handled nicely and by the end of it, I could even go around corners without leaning it over too far. After my loan of the GSX-R, it was time to get the GSX-S. And to start, I absolutely loved the GSX-S. The seating position was awesome. The handling was absolutely fine. The brakes, the the acceleration was fine. I loved this bike. If I had a choice of starting either with the GSX-S or the GSX-R, I 100% would have gone for the GSX-S. It was easier to ride. Why did I find it so easy? Well, the seating position was perfect for, for a beginner, in my opinion. So I can only imagine for other people, they'd feel the same. Although I really enjoyed riding both bikes, what really annoyed me was of the obvious, the speed and acceleration. There just wasn't enough. Specifically, I found the GSX-S slower. I can only imagine because the fairing is on the GSX-R, there's no fairing on the GSX-S. Essentially, the top speed was about 10, 10 miles an hour down on the R. That must have been something to do with the fairings because the gearing on both bikes is identical. So then I was lucky enough to get the GSX-R back and it didn't take me that long to actually absolutely adore the GSX-R. It was hard to, to compare the both. Which one would I go for? Don't know. <laughs> So there was one thing that really bugged me, and that was because I only had my CBT, I couldn't go on the motorways, which made going to some places and doing some journeys really difficult. I found it a bit of a pain. Although I did a, over 220 miles in one day, and so it, well, it's not like I did put the work in. But as soon as I passed my test, this little 125 really opened up to me. And to be fair, it does hold its own on a motorway. And yes, you can take a 125 on the motorway. Just take your airplates off after you pass the test. Let's take a brief moment to look at some insurance. I got hold of some old friends at Bikeshaw to get me some quotes, and here's what they came up with. So for a 42-year-old female, that's me, lives in the SO postcode, zero no claims bonus, garaged, on a new CBT plus full car license, fully comp would be £764.75p for the R, £326.96p for the S. Third party only, the R is £395.63p, while the S is £271.25p. Add a full license and it's £488.63 for the R, fully comp, and £296.71 for the S while third party only drops to £280.9p and £210.73p respectively. The GSXS is clearly the bargain in terms of insurance, which is amazing when you think the only real difference between the bikes is clip-on bars, a fairing and a few extra miles an hour on the R. Let me get to the bike's USP. It's the MPG that is great about it. The Suzuki claim up to 170 MPG. I was seeing at 97.98, but I was going everywhere throttle stop. Ah! So that's my experience of both the GSX-R and the GSX-S 25s. From my own experience, I will thoroughly recommend one of these bikes as a first bike. More so the GSX-S because you can build your confidence more on that because it's an easy, as I say, it's an easy seat position, it's easy to ride, and then you can have some fun on the GSX-R. But if you have to choose one, get the one with the fastest top speed. It's the R. So as good as these bikes are, and as much fun I've had on both bikes, I urge you to pass your big bike test and there's a reason why.